Welcome everybody. Lately I've been teaching more and more of my friends how to edit, and it's 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 slowing down my upload time, so I decided to make a little walkthrough tutorial on how I edit clips like these. Um, I think it's more needle in the hay. And clips like these. Fine line. <laughs> there will be timestamps in the description if you're looking for something in particular. Punk. Alright, so we're gonna start this off by importing the two video clips. You'll catch them in the Discord by going down to video stuff, and then clicking the download link right here for both of them. Once you get both of them downloaded, you're going to go to File, Import, Media, Import both of them. Then you're going to drag both onto the timeline. Alright, so to start off the trimming process, we're going to drag the second audio track down to where we can see all of the little, little waves, little cute little waves. And then we're going to grab the razor tool. Okay, so we're going to cut right at, on your playhead, it should read 4803. Then you're going to select both of them by holding the control key. And then you're going to hit the delete key. So we're also going to put a snip at 5628, and then we're also going to put one at 5416. And then we're going to snip between them. Then we're going to come back to 4914, make a snip here. Then we're going to go to 5147 and make a snip here. And then same thing as before, but this time we're going to use the drag method. Now that we have the trimming done, we got to make it nice and fancy. So we're going to zoom out so we can see everything on our timeline. Select all of the video. Right click. New compound clip. I'm just going to call this video. Then we're going to hold the alt key and drag up. Then again. Now you should have three tracks. Track one, I left as background. Track two, I left the same. Track three, I named webcam. This part's only important if you're trying to do a TikTok video, a YouTube short, an Instagram reel, or a portrait oriented Instagram post. File, project settings, and then you're gonna switch the 1920 to 1080, and the 1080 to 1920. Now you have a vertical video. Now for the first track, we're going to click on it, increase your zoom. Now for me, I want my SF Goose logo at the top, but you can keep zooming until it doesn't show anything else. Now we're going to right click on that bottom background track and click open in Fusion. You'll notice I have two preview screens up here. This second dot indicates that this preview, my media out, is on the second screen. If I press one on media in, you'll be able to see what it looks like without any editing. If you hold down control and zoom in, you can zoom in on your preview. If you hold and drag your middle mouth button, you should be able to move it around. We're going to add a blur effect so it hides the background. Tools, it should be right under 3D. Now you can increase the blur size, which will increase the blur. I usually don't have it too much, I just blur it a little bit to where you can still see. You can mess with the blend if you want to make it maybe a little bit more clear with the blur and you can still pick out objects. This part you don't have to do, but I'm going to because I want my logo in. First we're going to click on the blur, then we're going to click on the ellipse. Now the ellipse is now cropping the blur, you can tell by the arrow pointing into the blur. I'm going to come over here and click invert. Now anything inside of the circle will not be blurred. We're going to move that up to my logo. I'm going to decrease the width. Decrease the height. Then I'm going to add a little bit of a soft edge to make it blend in better. And we're done. Next, we're going to go to the second video track and we're going to increase the size of this. I'm going to crop out the top by clicking on cropping and just dragging until I get what I want cropped out. Then we're going to move it up a little bit and zoom in just a little bit more. Now we're going to increase the size of the webcam track. Move it into the center and crop it. Now we're going to open up the webcam track in Fusion by right clicking. Open in Fusion. Select Media In. Click on the Ellipse tool. Move the ellipse over to the face. Decrease the width and the height. and add a little bit of a soft edge. Now we can move the webcam up. 
All right, now we're going to start with the subtitles. What you're going to want to do is go to your toolbox, titles, text. Don't grab this one. This one, this one's, this one's big brain. We're going to grab the text, drag it on. By default, the text is going to last exactly five seconds. So first off, we're going to customize the text. I'm just going to say hello. Then we're going to change the font. Now we're going to add some stroke. We of course want some drop shadow. Now's where the animation comes in. So first you're going to click on the first frame, make sure you're on the first frame of your text. Click this cute little diamond thing to create a keyframe. With your arrow key, press right four times. That's going to make you go four frames forward. We're going to put another keyframe here. And we're going to type in 1.2. Then you're going to go up one more keyframe and type 1.15. This will create a pop in effect. So I usually zoom in to where I can kind of work around which words he's saying right here. We're going to rewrite yeah. So his yeah starts about right there. We're going to drag it up a little bit. Now we're going to duplicate this by holding down alt and dragging. That's going to create a copy of the same text that you just put in. I'm going to shorten this down a bit. He says I around here, so I'm going to add I to the subtitles. Then I'm going to alt drag. Then we're going to add also to the title. Then we're going to alt drag again, but replace all the words. With have. He starts saying another word right here, so we're going to alt drag again and add G Fuel. This is going to create a write-on effect. Yeah, I also have G Fuel. Because he pauses, I'm actually going to remove the have out of this title. Yeah, I also have G Fuel. Oh, yeah. Okay, so instead of having the word G Fuel show up on the video, maybe I'd rather have a picture. So I'm going to click File, Import, Media. Click on the picture I want. We're just going to drag that down. I'm going to use the razor tool to trim this down. Going to resize this. Then we're going to alt drag this. And make him say so. Maybe shorten that down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I also have G Fuel. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so you may have noticed from some other videos, I had the spinning TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, and YouTube logos all on surrounding my, my webcam. I'm just going to do this with one because you guys can just repeat this step for all of them and it would take too much time to just go over the same thing four times. So I guess let's get started with that. As always, if you drag something onto the screen, it's going to last for about five seconds. We're just going to leave it at five seconds. That's fine. Right click on the image. Go to open infusion page. There's two different ways you can do this. First, we're going to do the Luma here. Click tools. Go down to Matt and click Luma here. You'll notice that it took out everything that's not white. You're going to click Invert. Now suddenly there's an issue because it removed the white out of the inside of the TikTok logo. There's a way to get past this. On the Luma here, while it's selected, click the Rectangle tool. On the Rectangle tool, click Invert. And we're just going to increase the width and the height to match the TikTok logo. And we're going to increase the corner radius. Now you have a background removed TikTok logo. The other way to do this, we're going to go ahead and just delete all this. Is to just click on the rectangle tool. And same thing, just crop it out. Now that you're done cropping, we're going to add in the rotation animation. So you're going to want to go to tools, scroll down, click transform, click DBE. We're going to click the ending of the arrow and drag it to DBE. And we're going to drag DBE into media out. Now that we have DBE selected, we're going to start off with the keyframe on the Y axis. 
we're going to go to about 50 frames, which you can see here, and put another keyframe. Then we're going to go to 240, add another keyframe, and add another one at 290. All right, now that you have everything keyframed, you're going to want to go back to frame one and type negative 90. Then go to keyframe 290 and type in positive 90. This should make the animation look like this when you're done. I think that looks too mechanical, so now we're going to add a spline. Go up to the top of your screen, click spline, go down and click Y rotation. Now we're going to click on the top keyframe, and we're going to click on the smoothing tool. You can adjust this a little bit, maybe make it a little bit more wavy. Then we're going to go to the other animation, same thing, top keyframe and smoothing tool. Now we're gonna go back to edit and put this on the screen wherever we want it. You don't want it too big, but you don't want it too small. All right, it should look like this. Yeah, I also have G Fuel, so. Hell yeah, hell yeah. No, not the G Fuel, no! No, there might be an issue because it's not continuing for the rest of the video. So all we're gonna do is click on it, control C to copy, make sure we're right at the end of the clip and just paste it. Of course, the ending of the video doesn't matter. So we'll just cut this down a little bit. And that's how you add a rotating logo to your video. All right, so maybe you have a green screen effect that you'd like to use. I'm going to teach you guys how to apply that to your video. So first, you're going to have it in your media pool. Before you drag this down, go ahead and right click and click add audio track. I did stereo, then drag it down. Because this is a vertical video, we're going to rotate this 90 degrees. And full screen it. Now, one of the issues is, is it's, of course, still green. So we're going to right click on the clip. Open in Fusion. We're going to go up to Tools, Matte, and Delta Keyer. Then we're going to drag the background color selector onto the green on the screen. You can go to the pre-matte or the matte settings to adjust all the other fun stuff. I'm going to go ahead and trim the rest of this off because we don't need it after the G Fuel goes away. This is what it should look like. And that's how you add a green screen effect. Now that you've finished editing your clip, you can go to the deliver page. Here you can name your video, select where it's gonna be rendered to, select what format, I always do MP4 because why not? I guess, I don't know. Add to render queue, and then click render whenever you're ready to render. If this video helped you out, be sure to like and, and comment the stuff. Do, do, do the subscribes as it as it releases all those those happy chemicals into my blood. You don't you want you want the goose man to be happy and do, do the little honks. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. <laughs>